Rowdy Roddy Piper. And this is my world. Get the f out. Out! It's my show. These 12 prospects have come from all around the world to train with me. Hit me! Do the f***ing high spot. I'm not f***ing rocket science. I hate big, dumb f***ing guys. I will break them down. You tell me! No, tell me! I put it on the f***ing I will look into their hearts. You need to make it by this next show, or you should get the fuck up. They will perform at World of Hurt Live, and the crowd will know if they are the real thing. Oh my God! I will give these kids a taste of the pain, the heartache that is professional wrestling. All my friends are there. I will let them know if they have what it takes. Or if they should quit now, before somebody gets hurt. Get your sh together. You get it wrong, you make me look bad. This is my business. A world of pain. A world of risk. A world of hurt. For all of Roddy's female students, expectations are high. Lila will have to overcome many barriers to meet industry standards. My name is Lila Lodge. I'm here to prove to everyone that I have what it takes to make it in this business. Hello? Hi. What's your name? My name is Lila. Lila. It's Lila. Okay, this Piper is going to be the trainer. I'm going to be the assistant. Okay? I love entertaining. And I love controlling people's emotions. Like, when you're in the wrestling ring, those people are putty in your hands. Coming and training with Roddy Piper is an opportunity of a lifetime. Unless I'm completely honest, I'm not going to help you. Anything that you have to say, I will take and treat it as the gospel. Uh, realistically, do you think this is something you can pull off? I do. I've been working out regularly for two years. Well, well, how come you're so hurt? What's hurting you in your heart so much right now? Me? Yeah. What's going on inside you? <laughs> you can tell that just by looking sure at me. You can. When I was a kid, um, my dad got into some trouble with the law, and I had to go and live with my grandparents. I completely lost my dad. My Are you lonesome in life? If you could tear the layers back a little bit, it's scary. That might be the problem with your performance in the ring. And I haven't seen it. It's something to think about. Come on, get out of here. Lila enters the gym, and her conditioning comes under immediate scrutiny. I'm not a large man. Uh, very strong, agile, fast. Um, Lila is the opposite. Slow, fat, sluggish. I have great hair. Hers is the worst. This is a complete joke. No one should come in condition like that. You honestly think she could run a block, half a mile? Uh-uh, no way. It's disgusting how she looks. It makes me sick. You start out, everybody has a negative opinion of you. They just want to assume that you're just in the business for attention. It doesn't mean anything to me. I've been places where people's opinions matter. Here's the truth. I'm talking to, speaking with the ladies. We're gonna have to figure out a way for people to come and say, I wanna spend $100 to see the ladies wrestle. Cause right now it's about TNA. I'm trying to figure out a way on this show coming up, how are we gonna make you exceptional? I can get you in the ring. I can see how you're working. That would make you wrestlers. How are we gonna make people pay to see you wrestle? Roddy challenges the female students to meet the same expectations as the men. A task some are sure to fail. I didn't realize you were the heel for the first three minutes. Lala and Sam. Ding, ding. Lila Lodge. We've been friends for a little while. She's pretty strong, so see how it goes. Sam is the sweetest girl I know, but... I don't think she's ready for what we're gonna do here. Okay, time. 
You need to work heavily on your shots. People want to say that I'm not tough or, you know, that I don't hit hard enough and all that. And it's like, no, I can. I just don't want to. Turn your hips when you're throwing the elbows, OK? It's OK. It's OK to clock. You throw it in. Oh. That's it. Throw it in. Come on. Hit me! I want to be the kind of wrestler that you don't have to hurt each other to make it look good. Hit me! Damn. Figure it out. If that's as hard as you could hit, I'm in no trouble at all. Get in your corners. There's an old saying, I'd rather you knock my teeth down my throat than hit me with a popcorn punch. Ding! Starting to make the women marketable, Roddy demands an aggressive performance and leads by example. Sell it! Scrunch her down, let her know what it feels like. Get her off you! Throw her off you! Go! Fight! Run into her! Get your ass up! Hit the rope! Get your ass up! Leapfrog her! Drop kick her ass! Cover her! One! Big one! Two! Big one! Get up and look at each other! Stop! Beat her up! Wrestle! Let's go now! Go! Hit the rope, damn it! Swish her off! Get off! You can't! Fight! You did it! Take the tackle! Get your ass up! Go! Leapfrog her! Drop kick her! Cover her now! Kick out! One! Get up! Look! Get on your feet! Coming up on World of Hurt. What? Everything I've been doing up until now isn't working. She's a sweetheart. I'm not here to throw you under the bus. Before the break on World of Hurt. Realistically, do you think this is something you can pull off? Lila is slow, fat. Get up! Look! Get on your feet! <laughs> Work! Go! Take that tackle! Take a beat! Take a beat! Leapfrog her! Drop kick her! Cover her ass! Cover! One! Take her out! Get back on her now. Get your ass down here. One! Boom! Boom! Get up! Roddy's doing his best to bring them together and make something work. And they just can't get it together. It's like them just taking a shit in the toilet. You know, do you want to watch that? I don't. I'm not going to watch them in the toilet, so why would I watch them wrestle? Because it's exactly the same. Get your high spots down and get crisp and get in shape. Can't do anything until you're in shape. I need to improve my strikes and my mat wrestling. Everything I've been doing up until now isn't working. Having failed to show any promise in the ring, Lila believes her personality will stand out in promos. This is the most important part of our business. Don't say anything on a promo that you can't back up in there. If you're saying, come and see Rambo, and they see the sound of music, they am not coming back. Cam, please. I had to put my food in plastic bags and hang them from the ceiling just so the mice couldn't get out. You're not bringing them in to see you, Kyle. So if you think I'm Justin Bieber, you can just Bieber my balls. You're a heel. You're not a baby face. I think that might be something that would help tremendously. Wow. There you go, young lady. Do you people know who I am? I am the most dominant female in the Pacific Northwest. I'm an asset to everyone who's lucky enough to be a part of my life. And I'm a quality human being. In your interview, allow that layer of anger to come out. Doesn't mean you have to push the words, but you're mad in general. Absolutely. Roddy's advice is interrupted by the women's assistant trainer, Casey Spinelli who asked to speak to Lila one-on-one. -on -one. In wrestling, Casey's my best friend. She's the one person that I know I can rely on. She's a good person. Outside of here, she's a really good person. I mean, everybody likes to play a character. I play a character. I'm not far off from my character, but I believe she is. She likes to play the tough, I'm a bitch kind of girl. And really, she's just a, she's a sweetheart. 
tell me what this voice is, but pull it out of your f***ing ass right now. Everybody tells me I don't. It doesn't matter. You're a heel. You want people to be, oh, I don't like her. I don't like listening. Do it one more time without him. Please show him that you got because I know you f***ing got this. Do you people know who I am? You people want to boo me? You want to look down on me? You don't know anything about me! You want to cheer for Sammy Hall? You don't even know her! And the more you cheer for her, the more I'm going to break her down. Let them know how angry you are with the way they've been treating you. All right? Put that all into a ball, and let's see what we can get out of that. Good job. Good job. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I truly believe that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to learn the things that I've been looking for. A new day begins, and Lila's struggles are only beginning. Looking vascular, Brady. Shit, my arms are bigger than your legs. Says she's bigger than me. Well, yeah, she's bigger than me. She's fat. After this, we'll hit some poses in the mirror, maybe. We'll do that. You can oil me up. You can use some of that oil off your forehead. <laughs> I'm like 5% body fat, 5%. She's probably 50%. Yeah. Well, you are fatter than I am, that's for sure. Fat people Definitely. are harder to kidnap. Who wants to kidnap you? <laughs> she is completely useless. She has 0% chance of ever being a superstar. You better just stay down! I didn't understand why you were so angry at her. I didn't understand who you were. I need to know first what you're about. And to follow this story, I need to know why. Layla's got to do some work on her cardio big time. She's got to work on her wrestling, her strikes. She has to work on everything big time. Roddy can't teach her everything. She's really got to put some effort in. After two days of failure in front of Roddy, Lila is reaching a breaking point. Realizing Lila is on the edge, Casey asked to break from training and talk Lila down. I'm not here to f you over. I'm not here to throw you under the bus. I put you over for the show because I wanted you to come. Uh, sit down, I Lila. That. You want to talk you about respect? I respect. not disrespected you once. No, Lila, I've been grateful for this. And have they no. disrespected no. you? No. Fuck you, Lila. You stand here. You talk to me right now. Have you not? No. Do you want to talk? You brought it up. Princess of power, you either leave or get back. One of the two, you don't walk out of my training camp. Coming up on World of Hurt. I'm so f***ing tired of being thrown under the bus like this. By walking out then, you're showing massive disrespect. Before the break on World of Hurt. Princess of power, you either leave or get back. You don't walk out of my training camp. Lila stormed out and uh, Roddy just stood up immediately. And he was like, you get her back in here. Obviously, it's a respect thing for him. I'm so f***ing tired of being thrown under the bus like this. I want Princess of Power back in here or I want her out of the f***ing building. I don't give a shit which. You know, he's come a long way. And he's doing a lot by giving us his information, his knowledge, his training. As she walks out, you know, because she's a little bit upset, because she's having a bit of a sook, that's, that is disrespectful. By walking out there, you're showing a massive disrespect, not to Casey, not to the girls, but to Roddy, okay? Look, I'm just trying to take a minute and collect myself. I know you myself. are, but listen. How come everybody okay, else gets a minute when they need it? If you need to. You tell Casey to back off, sit down, put I your tried. hands on your f***ing knees if you have to. But you don't walk out of that class, all right? Relax. You go back in there right now. 
Her tantrum ended, Lila reluctantly returns to class to face Roddy's reaction. Never walk out again. That is the coward's way out. Let's keep our focus. Anybody can walk out and quit. Are you finished talking? Thank you, ma'am. You two go over there and figure your match out. Go do what you're told now. No more bullshit. We're gonna figure something else. I honestly have been wrestling since 2005. I've got it up here. I just need to make sure that I believe it here. A new day begins, and Lila is seemingly refocused. I've worked so hard to be respected and work work on just making everybody see that I'm dedicated. You are such a change. You both jackass. Both of you. Both of you. I hate both of you. All I did was ask if she was mad. Oh my god. That's all talk. We just we were gonna go and talk to everybody. And she said she was pissed, so I was like, I'm not even telling you. Some of these girls are bitches. Tell okay. me that you weren't upset when you walked out. I was upset because I was upset that things were not being fair. My oh god. my god! Stick, I hate her! Stick down. I'm gonna be a professional and I'm gonna suck it up and do what I gotta do. You don't have to look at them. She's coming in, going about everything all wrong. All wrong. All wrong. These people have fucking evil bones in their body that I don't have. I think she has bigger bones in her body. I really don't think there might be evil bones in her body. Did we or did we not walk in there together? And she went to you first. Lila yeah, said Yeah, so she wants said. to be like Lila said. I want to be like we both said that we were going to go and talk to him together. She's an idiot. Plain and simple. You think Pop is going to like his shit? She needs to just leave. Everybody in our business to the highest echelon is going to watch this. In your case, you've all signed a piece of paper to let them exploit you, to let them prostitute you out. Don't let them make a fool of you. You better be good, because your career is on the line right now. I feel like I've been true to myself and to everyone else about who I am and what I'm about throughout everything. Coming up on World of Hurt. I would be just heartbroken if we disappointed Roddy. Lila Lodge in full control here. This is what I think you need to do. Before the break on World of Hurt. I feel like I've been true to myself. Both of I hate me. both of you. You don't have to look at them. Don't let them make a fool of you. You got so much going on inside you. Tons and stuff. And where it plays great is when you bring it out in the ring, all your emotions, you're angry, you're sad sometimes, you're happy, but in a pro locker room, there is no emotion. Uh, it affects too many people, and you don't want to start that chain reaction because everybody's at the point of bubbling, and well, the way they deal with it is everybody gets calm. before the live event, Lila realizes the stakes are high. Today's really important. This is the pinnacle of everything we've been working towards. If we don't pull through now, you know, I would be just heartbroken if we disappointed Roddy. Welcome everyone to Samantha Bandy Hall versus Lila Lodge. As Lila prepares for her promo, she must channel her raw emotion into a compelling villain or fail in front of Roddy for the last time. Let him know how angry you are. I fought across the fucking country! I didn't understand who you were. Realistically, do you think this is something you can pull off? Pull off, pull off. My name is the lovely Lila, and I am the powerhouse princess of the Pacific Northwest. And tonight, you people had better be cheering for me, not this rookie. If you people don't like me, that's your fault. This rookie is out of her league, and that's her fault. And when I beat her down, 
till she just can't kick out, that is gonna be my fault. Making her way to the ring with a declared weight of none of your business from Olympia, Washington, the lovely Lila Lai. Lila makes her way to the ring and to everyone's surprise, takes the opportunity to display her boyfriend. Lila's, oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. Lila making out with some guy in the audience as she makes her entrance into the ring. The two women tie up in the center of the ring hard. Big splash into the corner. Flips her over by the hair. Is that legal? Lila stomping on the stomach of Bambi. Lila channels her raw feelings into selling an emotional field performance, but the crowd isn't buying it. Ah! Sam catches her. Reverse brings her down hard. She rolls her up with a small package. Lila struggling. Two, three. The match ends, and Lila's disappointment is evident. Here I am crying again. Um, just. I mean, we didn't forget anything. I thought I did pauses at the right places. Overcome with emotion, Lila must now face Roddy's reaction. You're not happy all the time, you know? And uh, if, if you could go and get your emotions in check where you could use them in the ring, but not around the rest. That'll help you, because they, they just won't tolerate it. This is what I think you need to do, hon. Take a break from the business. I'd like to save, save some lives here and some time. And for you walking away... I'm willing to do anything. I'll move across the country. Walk away. And if you're thinking clearly, don't come back.